Hi, all. I'm just going to put, or try to put bearings in the back of the Leopard gearboxes. I'm not going to put this on the other video of the unboxing. Because, <clears throat> like I said, I want to make that as short as possible and to show it completed. Then, if you want to do this, these will be separate videos that you can watch. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. So, look. So, to unscrew it, it's this one, this one, this one, this one, and these two. Not that. That holds the smoke machine on. Okay? Let me get this apart and I'll quickly show you. Here's the six screws that hold it in place on the hole. It's got loads of screw holes in it, all in really stupid. Why Why there? Because you can see it. Why not do one there, do two here, and that would hold the body on without too much trouble. You wouldn't need the ones at the back either. I don't know. Um, I'll put one up straight through the gearbox area, or something like this, to hold it. it drives me nuts. It's just They look so awful. It makes it look like a toy, doesn't it? Um, hence, I'm going to do the Asian hole. But yeah, so the reason why I had to take the top hole off is this is underneath this side skirt, okay? But the good thing is they now send with the tank a little Allen key, which is really useful to get the wheel off. Let's see if we can put some bearings in. So I think I say yes, I should be able to squeeze some bearings in there. Um, if you look in the manual, we can get bearing seat assembly of drive shaft. Well, I don't think it looks any different than that. I think it's just that with a bearing in it. Um, yeah, so. That should be all right, shouldn't it? Let's see if we can squeeze the bearing in and I'll show you. It's um, it's these ones. I'll put a link to the eBay site I got them from. Um, if this saves these plastic gearboxes because it stops movement, um, it's worth it. Because it'll save you buying metal gearboxes for a bit anyway. I mean, it's better to have metal, but, you know. I mean, there's a... Uh, see, look, there is quite a... There's play on there. And I think that play is what meshes the plastic nylon gears wrong. And they, they just take the tops of the teeth off um and then once that starts it's it's that's it really for you isn't it because you've got to know most i think most hand drills and stuff have plastic gears i don't think they've got metal in hand, hand drills i might be wrong about that but anyway let's ram that bearing and see what we can do right there we go that's in as far as i know that looks exactly like that and i think these bearings for like eight of them cost me a tenner or less than that so you'll see what this does and now not the best way of doing this but now there's there's no play in that um, whatsoever. It's tight. Let's do the other side and we'll put the tracks back on. And if you can, if you can get some Tamiya thread lock or any other red thread, thread lock uh, and then put it on the hex bolt before you bolt it back up again, it should stop your wheel coming off. Um, just dip it on the end of the thread like that. That's probably a bit much, but I don't really mind. Like I said, I'm probably not using this hole. Uh, once those gearboxes are gone, I might keep it in the loft for spares. Anyway. Now, if you can see, um, there's a lot of play in that shaft. Look at it. It's all over the place. Slop is anything. And gears don't like slop. If they're slop and their teeth are at different angles when they're moving through each other, they will shear off in places. It does it with their Chinese in gearboxes as well, you know, the, the weird metal ones. But I'm thinking if I put a bearing on this, it might make the situation a lot better. And I say the bearings... Sorry, it's my kids, it's holidays. And then, literally, you just... takes. I can't read this one hand. But then you push it on. No, I can't this one hand. I'll show you when it's on. So you basically just push it in that gap. And I promise it goes in there. All right. Let me just do that now. There we go. Simple as that. Just pushed it straight in. And like I say, from the other side, this looks exactly like the assembly that you can buy, which costs a heck of a lot more money. Um, if it doesn't go in easy, if you get something wood to help it, I can't do it one hand, but like an end of a pencil or something, don't use anything that could damage the bearing unless it's pointless. But if you look now, there's no slot. It's being held in shut place. And I keep my fingers crossed that this stops those gearbox shredding. If it is, it's an easy fix. Anyone can do this. Um, and if you are, you know, running it indoors or just in your house and stuff, this will make it run even better. Look, so you're going to take... Right, and that's with it on. And if you look, there is I'm there is no slop in that whatsoever. I can't... There's no slop. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. This might mean these gearboxes last a bit longer. And if I can... Let everybody else know this. You just do this for a bit of fun. They don't want to end up putting tons of stuff in it and then getting so disappointed when the gearboxes snap. If you just do this, 
It might be useless, they might still shred themselves to pieces. But if this does work, it's a real simple thing to do. Anyone can do this. Um, and for, I'm sure there was like eight pounds, all those bearings. It wasn't, it wasn't a lot from eBay. Um, the standard RC car size, I think. So yeah, we'll see what happens. So we're gonna put this back together again. And um, yeah, we'll see if it lasts longer. Anyway, look, see you soon. Right, and this is it uh, with it back together. Just show it still works. Now I can't see any adverse wobble or movement in that rear um, in that rear drive socket. I hope so. Anyway, I'll put this all together and we'll stick it up. And this will be a sub part of the unboxing of this on a different video. Because if you don't want to do this, you don't need to.